Hi, it is Nicole Aleph again. In this video, we will discuss the symbol levels in QGIS. We have a messy layer here with uh, very different attributes, which uh, shall be uh, more clearly drawn later. But in this uh, video, I will show you the symbol levels. Why are we concerned about the symbol levels? That's because symbol levels determine which element shall go above the other elements. And uh, in that way, it prioritizes the elements of a layer. It doesn't matter if it's polygon or line layer, but it is especially used in uh, line layers because they often overlap. You see, in this case, we have uh, these gray lines that uh, overlap this main road here. Obviously, the main road shall be not uh, intersected by this one, it, it shall be above the gray line. Let's go to the symbol levels. We double click on the layer in question and we go to advanced symbol levels. It's usually good if you start with the highest priority. Like, uh, let's see. see, it's obviously 21, 22. These two are the highest priority. That's why I will set uh, in this value, I will set the highest number there. Let's say 20. And uh, 20 here as well. And for the middle line, it, it has even another line. We will set 21, 22. Because I want uh, the black line to be in further back the red line to be above the black, that's why I enter bigger number and the white line to be above those two. And in the gray line, you see this one, we will set just the smaller numbers. If, if it like this, you see the result for the red line, but I won't change the purple line as well. That's why by going to symbol levels, I will change the purple line as well, which is this one. I will change it so that it is, uh, let's say, 19. We can even add 20 because if these two intersect, I want the black part to intersect correctly. This one will be uh, 20 as well. We can just lower these, 19, 20, and this one to be 21 that will make for a clean intersection between them. And uh, the gray line has a value which is much smaller, that will cause it to go down. Let's see what happens. And you see, it solved exactly what uh, this juncture should look like. It made it uh, exactly like it should like, look like. And here we will solve it as well. For these lines, we want it to uh, their priority to be bigger than the small ones. Let's check their attributes. Value, we are searching for 20. And we, if we go here, 20, this is uh, this value. And we will specify some symbol values for it as well. There it is, and we specify, let's say, 10, 11, 12. And as you can see, it is solved as well. And uh, you follow the principles I told you. You start with the highest priority, with the most important features. You write to them the biggest numbers and you go down to the lowest priority. And it shall fix the drawing easily. And uh, after that, of course, you will start to edit the elements that are mistaken. And uh, because I open other people's projects here, which is old, I will have to edit like this, these lines have to be merged and so on. But this is other phase of the project. So I hope this video was helpful to you. It's Nicole Ale from Adisoft signing off. Rate, comment, subscribe. I'm looking forward to your questions. So post them below or in other videos. I will answer them as soon as possible. And uh, also, Add suggestions to other videos. I will answer your demand as soon as possible because I make this video mostly for you and uh, for my audience to help you with your practice and become more productive in QGIS and other programs. 
It's Nicole Ole from Odyssey signing off and wishing you inspiration in your geographical practice.